so hana was possible because of the hardware evolution and software evolution right so let us see some evolution over here I have taken some screen shot from the internet and pasted over here you can see that we we are having earlier in 1964 8084 processor 1974 actually 8080 processor and it is having the data bus 8 bits and the address bus is used to have the 16 bits the more database it will be having it can carry more amount of data more bigger data the more address bus it will be having it can attach with the more ram memory so with the time you can see that it is getting evolved and coming to the pentium 4 pentium 4 is having the data bus 64 and the clock speed and all it's going to be better faster over here till gigahertz now we are having the i3 i5 i7 and i9 if you talk about the hana database right so just here the uh, purpose is to show the slides that how greatly how efficiently the microprocessor performance is getting improved day by day and then their cost is also getting cheaper this is very important cost is getting cheaper right we are having i3 i5 i7 i9 i13 also right i think i16 are also there then hana db hana db runs on a processor like intel xeon processor e7 v3 family this is very powerful group of processor this is a very powerful family